Hang on and watch as I do this. I make the process of grabbing colors a little bit easier for myself. And just by coloring the tops. Simple process, but it makes doing art a little easier. Hang on. Hey everyone, so I've got this nice little caddy here for my alcohol inks and I got my alcohol inks in these trays so they can come and move them around as I need them. But the Ranger has all these black tops to it and because I do them in this kind of a standpoint, well, let's just say organize it like this, it's hard to see all the colors easily. And to be honest with you, I'm not kind of one of those persons that you know goes and I'm looking for like the name i'm looking at the color really quickly i want to see something visual fast to choose my colors with 
and the Rangers, I'm sorry, the pinatas have white tops. So I thought, hmm, how can we do this? And I believe I saw Doris had some type of a white paint on her. So I thought, yeah, there's some brilliance to that. So I thought, hmm, what can I do about that? Then I had this thought about, I was like, well, maybe if I dip it in something. Well, I did. <laughs> I took a Coke, a Coke bottle cap. And just filled it up with like acrylic paint just a flat paint nothing special and I'm gonna dip all these guys in there and let them dry put it put them off to the side let them dry and then put a few drops of alcohol ink on top and let's hope this works see y'all in the middle okay so I've done a few already and as you can tell, you need to be mindful about how much you actually put on. I don't have a problem with it dripping a little bit. I mean, this is for my usage. So just be mindful of that. Um, but yeah, the bottle cap thing is working pretty well. Just dip, let it drip off a little bit. And then kind of swirl it around a little bit and put it down. Thanks. Well, I got my army of alcohol inks dipped and dried. So now it awaits the alcohol ink to be applied on top. So that's the next step. It does look like a little army of alcohol inks, doesn't it? So this is the theory. I'm hoping that the acrylic uh, matte finish will absorb some of the alcohol ink when I drip on it and what I do, what I've done is I've set up just a plate with a whole bunch of paper towels and I'm gonna you know unscrew the cap drip a couple drops onto the cap from the bottle and then place it back onto the tray so first thing I'm gonna do is take these all out of the tray so that way I can kind of assembly line you know take the bottle do the drip put it in the tray and repeat so Hang on, and we're gonna get this done. So, highly recommend gloves. We are dealing with ink. So the only one I probably really don't have to do is the pinata white. Basically, all I'm gonna do is just a couple drips, swirl it around, encourage it to go on to the top, there's too much, dip off a little excess. Screw the top back on. And overall what I'm looking for, make sure you can see here, is just a good coverage on the top. If some areas are lighter, that will help me out. Some areas are darker, that will definitely help me out. But it gives me a good indication of what this color will look like. So, here we go. Assembly line time. So, that's why I wear the gloves. <laughs> okay, so all these little caps are done. Now, while these are not 100% accurate for what is inside the bottle, meaning maybe some of the colors lighten up a little bit because they're on a white mat, 
or you know it could be that you know they went too light um, that's okay because for for me working and I'm starting to grab colors and I want to do an ocean scene I can grab this and this and this and this and this rather quickly it saves me time and I can put them out on my board and really audition the colors in within moments I can see it's like oh, wait a minute I need a little bit more green there maybe a hot green or something bright and, and, and I would know to go for maybe a, a limeish or something like that or maybe I need to darken it up or you know put some little get, see what I'm getting at it tells you really quickly instead of having a you know fish and mouse oh, well, where's that orange again you know and you're starting to look through the bottles and stuff and pull them out so my mission is to be more in the moment of creating and enjoying that process so this just helps me out a little bit and if you find another way of doing it that makes it easy for you go for it i mean i just had a little video running in the background catching up on my my youtube videos that i like to to watch while i'm doing this it didn't take me very long at all um let's see two little videos worth maybe 20 minutes to do all those so no problem there so I wanted to show you the alcohol links now they're in my caddy so you can see the copic markers already have a colored top and now you can see with the placement and all that see how that becomes really easy to grab the color you need so just little things like that can really help out uh, an art space you don't have to but it's just something that helps me out a lot anyway see you guys later like hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notified when the next time I put a video up. Later.